the Saturday wrap, by the way. Yeah, the Saturday wrap for the 11th of um, February already, 2023. Yeah, it's not Saturday, it's Friday. I'm doing it early and I'm already, well, it's been a bit of a week. Anyway, if you haven't seen this before, this is me rabbiting on yet again about my week. My week in tech, my week in cars, my week in work, although not that much, and my week in beer, and um, my week in lots of things, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, a um, couple of standards to start off, as per normal. The word or phrase of the week. It has to be AI. So we've had chat GPT, we've had mid journey, we've had chat GPT 4, um, we've had BARD. Everyone has gone AI crazy, whether it's text, chat GPT, or mid journey for your art, or BARD for Google, and Microsoft is putting it into everything, and Apple has Siri and is falling well behind. Actually, when I finish this, I'm going to use AI to um, generate some um, transcription. We'll see how that goes, um, me being valleys and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, detail app. Okay, um, app of the week, apart from a detail, um, doing the transcription. And I purchased, just press record, which uses Siri for transcription, which is... Not bad, actually. Not great, but not bad. Um, my app of the week is something that I trialed last Saturday. It's Ivory. Um, from Tweetbots, the people who gave us, um, not Tweetbots, um, I can't even remember what they call Tapbots, who gave us Tweetbot uh, for Twitter, which is now gone. And I'm still worried about their API and posting from things like Swarm and Untapped. Anyway, Ivory is a Mastodon client and it's really good and I'm on the um, seven day trial yep and um, I've already paid for a year in advance um, because good software supported software isn't free um, people make a living from it and they need to make a living to be perfectly honest um, but there you go so um, the thing of the week things going wrong Okay, um, let's start with Monday in the car. And um, I got this three, uh, three foot cable, uh, three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter auxiliary cable from my iPod touch with my podcast into the car and through the input. And uh, it kept cutting out. Now, I know it's not the MP3 player because I plug a set of different headphones in and they are fine. Uh, so today, a new cable has arrived from Amazon. I do hope it's that because I just can't. Uh, um, yeah, you know what it is. And on Tuesday, um, I was just about to drive home, flat battery. Completely flat battery. Thank you to Hugh in the office um, for helping me jump started. I do carry jump leads. And of course, this happened last oh, no, April. Yeah, April. So the battery's less than a year old and I couldn't find the receipt for it. And I managed to get home okay. And I was wondering whether it would start in the morning. It did last time. And it did this time. And this time I couldn't be bothered. Just took it into quick fit. Quick fit were rather good, actually. I uh, had a phone call from them to say, um, nothing wrong with the battery. It was just flat. It had run down. I suppose not a long enough journey. Lights on, heated rear screen on, blower going full blast, everything connected to it, and it finally crapped out. Longer journeys, uh, which isn't good for the world, um, but there you go. Oh, also... The warning light came on. The master engine warning light came on. Um, TLDR, too long, didn't read. Long story short. Um, took it back to Quick Fit this afternoon. They had some guy look at it. Last time it was 30 quid. This time it was for free. Which was good. Although, uh, if it doesn't start because of a flat battery, that light is going to come on. 
and you got to get someone to turn it off because you don't know if your engine's going wrong without it. Uh, hmm. Yes, indeed. So, um, right, okay. So last Friday, an emergency be no. An emergency be no in Newport. And I bought a gift card from Apple to load up, um, well, to pay for various things. And I couldn't get it to work. No error messages, no nothing, just round and round and round and round and round. Okay, Saturday morning, I was in a, a mood, I just, I wanted to sleep in. So I didn't do anything. But I ended up speaking to Jesus in Apple support. Turns out I had two in my pocket. One I'd already used and one I hadn't. Once we found that out, I was in business. So thank you, Jesus. You were really good. Uh, Apple support for being... Well, they should have said, what an idiot you are, but uh, uh, there you go. Right. Um, oh, yeah, put a tiny rebel glass. You know, the little ones like that? I, I love them, and I won't steal them, because I know a lot of people would, but um, I've got one, and it's great. Um, right, what else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so it was a quarter past four. I was in Tiny Rebel. I thought, I'll catch the five o'clock bus. Looked out of the window. It was already dark. It's not dark at five o'clock. <laughs> Again, I looked at my watch. It was quarter past four. Looked at my iPad. Quarter past five. I must have hit it. The time zone had moved on or moved back or whatever. I was on a different time zone and I was in a world of my own. <sighs> However, it meant I had an extra an hour. And it was an extra hour of really good fun, to be perfectly honest. Uh, there you go. Anyway, so Saturday was just drinking beer and sorting out my gift card, etc. Sunday. Shaved head. Um, and then um, back to my Linux Mint laptop. Snap and flat pack and private internet access and various other things expand so I think it's up to speed now, to be perfectly honest. Um, it works well. Well, I think it does work well, to be perfect. Um, there you go. Monday. Monday in the office. Free as in beer. A colleague, an esteemed colleague, gave me a bottle of beer to try. And it's a unique. And that's good. Um, oh, yeah, all through the week, um, using Weatherspoons vouchers, which expire at the end of the month. <coughs> because um, times are hard uh, right oh yeah I also oh Tuesday detail 4 came up um, I signed up for a year's worth of it which includes the AI so we will see how that goes to be perfectly honest he says hopefully um, what else um, oh yeah ordered potato food on Tuesday it arrived today Yodel delivered it um, put it between the inner and the outer doors left it outside the front door uh, could have been very dangerous to be perfectly honest uh, and yeah the flat battery thank you Hugh and thank you to my jump leads etc uh, etc et um, Wednesday morning freezing cold lots of frost it started and I've already told you what happened with that so that was good um, oh yeah Thursday signed up for mid journey um, you give it some text it comes out with the art I haven't actually got round to generating any art yet, and you can't generate that much of it, but, hey, very useful for um, album art and such like. Uh, also Thursday, just press record. It goes from iPod Touch to iPhone to iPad to Mac, uh, and it's a, a universal purchase, so it works on all of them for one price, which is good. And yeah, ordered my cable. Cable came today, pushed it through the door. And Friday, Friday, I had my warning light sorted out. Thanks to the guy there. Thanks to the guy who didn't charge me, to be perfectly honest. That was really good. So, um, what else happened during the week? I've been looking at the prices of Premier Inns. I'm looking at Monmouth and Abergavenny. Prices tend to go down the nearer you get to the day. So I was looking at tomorrow. I won't actually be going. I was just testing it. Um, although it would be a long journey and it would charge the battery up. 
actually going to Newport um, might do some blogging might change my routine slightly I fancy a full English in the John Wallace Linton to start off Oh yeah, uh, Weatherspoon prices up seven and a half percent. Actually, on some of the food, much more than seven and a half percent. Times are definitely hard, especially when you only had two percent and not. What was that other one? Oh yeah, two point nine percent. But there you go. So um, that's it for this week. Uh, use your comments. Uh, if you see the transcription, let me know how that gets on. And I will, um, I think, speak to you next week. Bye-bye.